Division 1 then, A finals. We've got Carlson uh, over the far side, we saw there, uh, and Hunsbeth. Jos Kuypers nearest the camera here. Uh, Opland opposite him. And bringing up the rear of the grid, we've got Becker and Svan. Well, this, of course, the battle for second place in the championship here between Jos Kuypers and Gunther Svan. Whichever one gets to the flag first, I think he's going to take that. And it is Carlson who leads it, though. Ingvar Carlson leads it. Looking for his first victory in Europe on the anniversary of his first appearance in the European Championship. But there's a big, big barge and door handling match going on as they come out from that corner. And who has come away to lead it? Who indeed? It is indeed Hunsbeth. Ludwig Hunsbeth leads this one. Jos Kuypers is in second place. Carlson is third. Solstrom has come through into fourth place. No, I beg your pardon. It's Opland there in fourth place, isn't it? Opland, yes, in fourth place. The new champion. Behind him is Gunder Swan. Then comes Jan Becker. As uh, Carlson forces his way or tries to force his way past Josh Kuypers. Josh Kuypers having none of it. Kuypers is continuing along there in uh, that second position. And that's going to be surely good enough to give him the runners-up spot in the championship and make it a 1-2 for Mitsubishi. Although the Toyota team are doing everything they can to prevent that from happening. But it isn't the Toyota in front that needs to be in front of that pair because it's Carlson in front of his teammate Gunders Bond. But this looks a little bit like... Uh, we could see a man on his way to another victory here this afternoon, the former European champion in this category, Ludwig Hunsbeth, a man who for so many years was faithful to BMW, moved over to the Ford Escort when the Group N category came in and took the European Championship in this category the first year it was for Group N. And uh, there's a black flag out there, I don't know whether you noticed that, and that, yes, it was for Carlson, and that was for uh, ramming literally into the side of Kuypers, and quite justifiably, I think. I think so, yes, Carlson is on the receiving end of that, and so now we've got uh, Opland in between, no, <laughs> this is interesting again, Peter, we've got Opland in between the two guys who are trying to bat their front the runners-up spot. Now, Opland is obviously going to try and stop Gundersmann getting past and going up to challenge Kuypers, that's if he's got the power to do it. I don't really think he's got the grunt to do it at the moment. Jan Becker completes the order. So it's beginning to look like a victory in the last event of the season for the Escort Cosworth. It's going to go out of 1995 with a bang. But it's all going to be the Mitsubishis, I think, that are going to take 1-2 in the championship. And there they are in the reverse order to what they will finish in the championship. And as long as they keep that Gundersson car behind them, it's going to be good enough for the Netherlands driver to get second position. And so it really is a very, very good season for the Dutch drivers. Nearly taken two championships, but not quite. The first and the second is certainly a renaissance of rally cross in the Netherlands. It really has come good very, very much this year. Nice to see countries coming back, Peter, isn't it? They haven't had a very successful period. Especially when they've got a great venue like Vogelberg. I mean, uh, you know, we've seen some fabulous rally cross and some great national championship action there as well. So on the international scene, it's good to see them back out there. Again. It is. They've been in the forefront of European rally cross, of course. Basically, it was the first country ever to host rally cross outside of the United Kingdom, where it all started about 28 years ago. And it's really caught on all over Europe. I think it's the greatest motorsport there is, but then perhaps I'm biased, I don't know. Uh, but there we have uh, a former European champion, Ludwig Hunsbeck, coming through. And it looks as though Ludwig's going to take a victory here this afternoon, which is going to move him up the points chart quite noticeably. But uh, there is a rather disconsolate Krista Boland team. Krista there standing in the front row. They're not going to get the runners-up spot, I don't think. The way this goes, they're going to be running a car in each division next year. Remember, Gunderswan is moving up to the supercar category. Ingvar Carlsen will stay in this one. And the way that Ingvar Carlsen is being performed towards the end of the season, well, who knows, it could be their year next year. They certainly... Yeah, oh, sorry, Peter. That's right, I was going to say, it looked like Ottman just giving him a, a gentle, playful little nudge up the back there, saying, come on, what are you going about for? I think Opland is determinedly staying behind him. I think Opland could challenge, but he knows that that could put uh, Jos Kuypers out of the race or behind him, and uh, he could come under a threat then from uh, Gundersvan. And I'm sure, as I said at the start of the program, that Opland has probably played a rearguard action here to ensure it's a Mitsubishi 1-2, and that is what it is in the championship.